Hey loves, in this video, I'm going to be reacting to the most jolly holiday in Finland. Guys, if you know, um, I, I, I'm really a fan of Finland. I really want to visit there someday. I don't even know whether I should start a go for me, guys. Will you support me? It's my journey <laughs> to Finland. Guys, if you would, please comment to the comment section. I'd like to know. Oh my goodness, guys, I would really love to go there, right? So guys, yeah, let's just dive right into the video of today. Let's watch, okay? Let's watch. During big holidays, it is a very lucrative business to sell alcohol in Finland, as it seems difficult to celebrate anything without the help of alcohol. Oh wow! I don't need it. Alcohol. I don't need it. Like Lead summer and holiday is mid summer, Brut. but third on the list, there is this warm-up holiday for the summer, but. People have celebrated Vappu in mm, Finland the and in Europe so for beautiful. centuries but with a different twist than what it is nowadays. Back in the day, Ooh. the festivities around Vappu centered around the beginning of summer. People wishing for good season for crops and cattle, that sort of stuff. Wow, guys, and apparently, that's amazing. the name Vappu comes from the Saint Valburga. But if you ask mm. an average Finn, they likely have no clue that these things are connected to Vappu, as the holiday has gotten more meanings over the years. During Bappu, there are different events and parades where you can see unusual and old stuff, like cars, tractors wow, and ideologies. Vins naturally use this situation to their benefit and the go to the marketplace where you can yeah, find Bappu trinkets like balloons and whatnot, but the only thing that draws me to the Bappu markets is the licorice. Mm. If we think about the traditions of Bappu through cuisine, there are a few traditional Vappu delicacies, like munkki and tippaleipä, which looks like your brain on cocaine. You can also find nice. hot dogs and amazing. potato salad from a Vappu brunch. We love hot dogs. These bangers will work no matter what the festivities are, so I wouldn't call them Vappu exclusives. Traditional drink to wash down your Vappu delicacies is none other than sima, a Finnish bean on meat. You can buy your sima from the supermarket, but at its best, or worst, sima is when you make it yourself, in a bucket. The process of making sima is not that complicated, and with a little bit of practice, you can do it, as the saying goes, sateessa, sumussa ja seitsemän pullon simassa. The beginning of spring has oh, traditionally guys. been special time for workers, but the events of Haymarket in 1886 pinpointed the 1st of May as the celebration of workers. Hmm. In Finland, Vappu is also a flag day as the celebration of Finnish work. So it is only natural that it is also a national holiday and nobody works. Besides workers, the academics have also celebrated Vappu for quite a long time. And they assert wow, their guys. dominance You're on this holiday today. by placing their signature hats on statues. Perhaps the most visible aspect in the Finnish Vappu is the celebration of students, most notably engineering students. During the time of Vappu, and maybe on other times, the fine line separating these students the from the degenerate life of alcoholics wow, is being present in some educational establishments attendee list. For Are students, Vappu is not just a single date. It is a period of time that starts earlier year after year. Although some would argue that Vappu never starts, nor it never ends. This is supported wow. by the popular saying Vappu ei lopu and a song by YBG, Ikuinen Vappu. It is quite easy to spot a student as they are likely wearing their overalls and a specific hat depending on their field of studies. And for you haters out there, students are not job. only partying and leeching taxpayers' money, as they also crank up their output in the world of fine arts during Vappu. Many student Ooh, organizations will run their own radio station and publish these small magazines. Guys, that's really if amazing. you are now wondering what these magazines contain, I can tell you that for example, the sole purpose of Vappu magazine, Öpinen, is to be less tasteful and contain more dumb humor than the previous publications. For many engineering students, Vappu is a divider between the cheerful life of students and the bleak mundane rat race, 
as many students start their summer jobs in May. Although, if you've had a long wappu, starting work might be difficult at the 2nd of May, as you might still be at the after party in the Lisko Lisko. This one, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys! Wow, I really learned a lot, and this is really amazing. The fact that we um, we now know a whole lot about Finland because that's a dream country for me, right? I really want to visit Finland. So, guys, yeah, I really enjoyed reacting to this. If it's the first time here, please click the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. If there's any other video you'd like me to react on, please comment in the comment section. I'll gladly do that. I am my daddy, and I will see you guys in my next video.